Hi everyone, today we're going to start with a mini series that shows you how to use the JC Drawing software. If you're new to JC Drawing, that's perfect because you can start with this episode. If you're looking into a more specific function, you can go to the playlist on our channel to see if the function is covered. If the function is not covered, then you can request it in the comments below and we will try to cover it in the next tutorial. Let's start with the dashboard that shows when you start up the software. Let's log in first by clicking the login button. You can change the region by selecting a different server. Now that we have logged in, you can see the logged in dashboard. Here you have a simple promotion and earn link that you can share with your friends for a 7 day free trial. You can use our link if you're interested in trying out JC Drawing. It will be in the description down below. If you're interested in buying a 1 month license at a huge discount, you can buy it from our website. Other than that, you can use the register button to register your account. We have a written knowledge base article that shows you how to do this. We will put a link to this article in the description down below. Next to that, you can modify your username. Luckily, JC has made this super easy, so you can just directly do this from the software. Next to that, we will find the change password screen. You have to know your current password in order to change it. Under the renewal recharge button, you can enter your bot recharge card information. The difference between points and renewal recharge is that the points can be stored in your account. You can see this as a credit you can use in order to extend your license. The renewal recharge only allows licenses that are already bought to be entered. Next, we will quickly go over the UI basics. On the left, you can find all the different models JC Drawing has a schematic for. You can open a folder and select a specific model. I will select the iPhone 12 for now. There's two different schematics in this folder. One is for the actual motherboard and the second is for the infrared FPC cable. Let's select the motherboard for now. The controls are very simple. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom and you can click and drag to move around. On the right you can see the detailed schematic information. This has the same controls. With other software this is not built in but a separate application or download. On the top you have the toolbar. Here you will find the real button. This will enable the reference images on the motherboard. As you can see they are super high quality and this allows you to correctly compare the images to the real chip. We will cover more complicated functions in separate videos. So subscribe if you're not subscribed already and enable the notifications on our channel to stay updated on new uploads. The other simpler functions are F few to zoom out and fit the board to your screen. Left rotates the board 90 degrees to the left and the right option rotates the board 90 degrees to the right. Zoom zooms in or out. The mirror function mirrors the board. This is useful if you have a desolder chip that you need to check the pads on. You don't have to think too much about what the pad is. You can just click the mirror button to get a mirrored image of the board. If you're looking for a chip on the motherboard, but you know the motherboard location identifier, you can enter it at the please input the key field. When you click enter or press the search button, you will go directly to the chip on the motherboard. These are all the basics for the JC drawing software. We will go over more functions in the next video, so if you have a function that you need to be covered, please request it in the comments down below and we will try our best to add it. I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Till next time.